Wait a second. First off, let me talk about how we got here. So, living in Toronto, I don't have that many options to find and get a Z. I only know of one owner of a fair lead, and that was after I started my search. So I scrubbed the internet at the start of 2020 to find the right one for myself. With a budget in mind, I set on my search, and when COVID shut down the border, it restricted my options even more. I continued my search for around 10 months with these new restrictions in place before finally finding the right one. The seller was in BC and wanted to move the fair lady to work on his other projects. He was a photographer, so lucky for me, he sent over a lot of photos. He sent me knowing what I was getting into, or so I told myself I sent over the money and got the car shipped to Toronto. Interesting thing about shipping. Some sites ship open, enclosed, or by train. I found the sweet shipper who said he'll bring it across the country for an offer less than half what others were offering. Of course, you know, trying to save money, I said sure. The only catch being that it would take longer. Three weeks flew by and it began to hurt owning a fair lady without actually owning a car. It finally showed up and because of my lovely steep driveway, we had to push the car in the garage. My security cam got some great footage of some porch pirates uh, helping to push the car into the garage here. But it was here, and it was time to let the fair lady have her revenge. What do I want? Well, you know the saying, cheap, reliable, and fast. Pick two? Well, my current fun car is a Miata. It's definitely cheap and reliable, but uh, with this build, I want to go fast. What's the plan? Rust free shell number one. Number two, storing the engine. Number three, interior and, you know, other bits that it might need. Honestly, don't know how long this will take, but uh, this is my first time resto modding a car. But let's start with addressing the rust. I think that's number one in any build. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching and uh, subscribe for, you know, possibly weekly updates. If you haven't already, I also post on Instagram and the link is in the description. Stay safe and uh, peace.